So what's the difference of cream, water, and alcohol activated makeups? These are the three main FX and creative makeup types. All have their benefits and drawbacks. Creams, also called grease paints, are definitely my least favorite to work with. But that being said, I always have it in my kit. This makeup type is basically the OG, being a long-standing favorite of theater and was even the standard for early film and special effects makeup. They're oil-based, so there's no cracking issues and ready to use right out of the container, which makes it super user-friendly. It's also very affordable. Usually this is the first type of FX makeup that someone tries their hand at. This first introduction usually comes in the form of a bruise or trauma wheel. Hence, while you'll see in Halloween shops, a lot of times it's incorporated in those little makeup kits. So what's the rub? Since these creams are oil-based, someone with acne-prone skin might have some problems with it. Have you ever used these products and they just didn't stay put and just smudged all over the place? Oh yeah, you're all runny. I must look ridiculous. Although it's ready to use, there is a step you cannot skip if you want your makeup to last. Since the cream never dries, you do need to set it with powder. And I'm talking about a good amount of powder. You wanna really make sure you press it in to the makeup. But once set, this is gonna make it smudge proof and it will last through the day. Now water activated makeups like Mehron Paradise AQ or Graftobium Pro Paint give you great opaque coverage since they're more designed for body painting. The makeup comes in a dry cake that you'll add water to, where you can then create a paint consistency that you like to work with. This easy water activation is definitely a pro, but also a con. More on that later. Once it's dry, it is smudge proof without any extra steps. Now this makeup isn't optimal to do FX makeups like bruising, but that's not to say it's not impossible. It's definitely the least one I'm going to grab out of these three. Some brands you may find cracking issues, especially with the white. So just know if you are having this issue, it is not anything you have done, it is the formula, and I recommend just researching other brands that don't have this issue. Alcohol activated makeup, such as Skin Illustrator, are most likely gonna be the largest investment of the three. Similar to the water activated, the color is dry and you're going to reactivate it. But with these, you're gonna be using 99% alcohol or an activator. Since you're using alcohol around the face, there is definitely a larger learning curve with these. You should know that there is a difference between the alcohol and activator. The Skin Illustrator activator is gonna be less fumey, which is nice if you're using around the face or if you're doing a large project that might gas you out with fumes if you're using the 99%. Activator is a great alternative. These are more designed to be used in a translucent fashion and layering to get a more realistic FX look. This makeup can also be used in a more opaque, solid fashion for body painting or cosplays. Since it's smudge proof and waterproof, it is a go-to for a lot of artists when working on set because it's really gonna last throughout the day. Do you like to add dimension and color using dry pigment? Well, dry pigment is not going to react the same on all three of these makeups. Going right over top with an eyeshadow or loose pigment, the cream, the water activated color, grabs the powder really well and allows you to get some dimension. Now you might notice that the alcohol activated is a drier formula, so it doesn't grab that pigment the same way as the other two. Now, if you're wondering that you've seen me use powder pigments over top of Skin Illustrator looks in my past makeups, that's because a lot of times I am spraying with sealer, which is gonna give it more of a tacky surface to really grab that pigment. So how do they hold up? All three of these are gonna give you really good wear throughout a day dry day. And this is also if you have set your cream properly. Now, if sweating or water is involved, this will not affect the cream or the water activated colors. Water activated, you probably have guessed it, is going to reactivate and come right off. But you can get a good waterproof sealer and spray it over the water activated color for more protection and keep it from having a complete meltdown. Now, when it's time to remove, the water activated is definitely the easiest. You can just wash it off with soap and water. With the creams, you're most likely gonna want to use at least a drugstore brand makeup cleanser. And the alcohol activated paints, on the other hand, can be quite difficult to remove. You're gonna need something a little stronger. So click over to the next video and we'll talk about the different FX removers that will work perfect for your alcohol activated colors.